A few thousand years ago, there was a war going on in Asia, okay? And battles were taking place everywhere. And, and I mean, as you know, that was during that time, they were using swords and bow and arrows, and uh, there was no guns or bombs or anything like that. And there was this one battle that, that really caught my attention. There was one archer who was well-known in the land. He was one of the best archers that the world had ever seen. I mean, he could hit targets from, from hundreds of yards away. A, amazing, amazing guy. And in this particular battle, he was there, all of his friends, they were, they were losing the battle. He only had like 30 or 40 arrows left. And he knew that they were going to be uh, really struggling to win this battle. And so he knew that every arrow that he had counted. And so he took one by one out and made sure that he was hitting the mark every single time. And so all 30 or 40 of those arrows were going directly towards the people that desperately they needed to get out of the way in order to win the battle. And as he looked around at one point, he saw all of his friends falling. The enemy was closing in. He reached in his quiver and he had one arrow left, the last arrow. He looked up the battlefield and, and further than he, he had ever shot before was the king sitting down. And he knew that if he could just get that king with the shot, with his last arrow, the battle would be over. Not only the battle would be over, but the war would be over and the war would be won. And he knew that at that distance, he couldn't hit him. He was going to have to run into the battlefield where it was dangerous. He didn't know if he was going to be able to get a shot off or not. And so he ran with all of his heart into the most fierce area of the battle, took out his last arrow, pointed it, and shot it up in the air. It was further than he'd ever shot before. He didn't know if it was going to hit. The moment the arrow left, another arrow from the enemy came and hit him straight in the chest, killing him instantly. And all of his friends and all the other warriors began to look as this arrow that this man had shot flew through the sky. And it flew and it flew and it flew and it hit the king straight in the throat, killing him instantly. And they immediately won the battle and won the war and the enemies fled. Now, why do I tell you this story? I tell you the story because this man used his last arrow in the last breath of his life to make a massive impact for that entire nation and that entire part of the world. And my question for you today is this. We only have one life. We only have one shot. We only have one time on this planet. We only have so many hours and so many days. And if you have this one arrow called life, where are you aiming it and what are you shooting at? What are you going to use your arrow for? Is it going to make a difference? Is it going to make a significant impact in this planet? Or are we more like blind archers that are just shooting arrows wherever and we have no purpose, we have no point, we have no target, we have no destination? And so today I want to challenge you with something pretty simple. What is your target? What is your purpose? What are you aiming your life at? Because that's really all that matters. Are you making an impact in this world? Are you making an impact for the kingdom of God? Are you making an impact for Jesus? Because it's really only what we do for the kingdom of God that's going to last for eternity. And so when we only have one arrow, when we only have one shot at this life, what are we going to use it for? Where are we going to aim? And is it going to make an impact that will last for eternity? And so today I want to encourage you to sit down and take a moment and think about where you're aiming your life. Where are you aiming your arrow? And are you going to use these breaths that God has given us, the talents and the gifts that God has given us, are you going to use those for something that's going to make an impact for eternity? Or are you going to use them selfishly on yourself like a blind archer shooting aimlessly? Where's your target? Where's your focus? Where's your vision? And is it on something that's actually going to make a difference? So take this one arrow that you have and use it for the kingdom of God so that you can make an impact that will last.